Hello friends, welcome back. This is Cool IT Help and this is new tutorial session. Now in this tutorial session, we are going to download and install R programming and R studio on Windows 10. Let's begin. This is the first step. So in the first step, we need to download the binary distribution file package for Windows 10. And uh, this is the direct link and the same link given in the description of this tutorial. So please get this link, open the browser, go to the address, press enter. And soon you will see R4.2.14 Windows page. And this is the download link for that. Click on it. Soon you will see the file downloading on the left hand side. Once the downloading is finished, you will find this file .exe. Now at the step two, we simply need to double click on this installer and just follow my instructions. Here we go. The very first thing you will see, select the language. You can proceed with the language of your choice. Now this is the license agreement page. Click next and uh, this will show you the default location of the installation. If you want to change it, please use the browse button for that. Click next. And now I'm getting this message because I have already downloaded and installed this thing. So I have a existing folder with the same name. That's why I'm getting this warning. I'm going to click yes. In your case, you will not get this thing. Now on the next screen, you will see two, two option. Click uh, proceed with the no, which is the default one. Now at this screen, please leave these checkbox as it is. Okay. We, one is most important which is the registry entry so we are not doing any change on that checkbox click next and uh, you will see the installation is in progress this installation will not take much time maximum one or two minutes required for this process soon this will finish we will proceed to the next step okay finally once the installation is done, we will see the final screen completing the R for Windows setup wizard. Great. Now at this, we have the finish button. Simply press on it. Okay. On the desktop, you will see the icon. So just launch this R. Simply click on this shortcut. And uh, in front of you, you will see the RGUI window and inside this, you have this R console. Okay, great. Now we going to follow the step three. In the step three, we need to install the language server in R. For this, we are going to run this simple command install.packages language server. You can simply type it or you can simply copy this small command from the description once you press enter you will see this big list on the right hand side secure cran mirrors so you can select uh, this cran mirror and you can select the country name in uh, the country list so please select your country it is suggested that uh, if you are uh, living in the country so please select that country only to avoid the unnecessary network traffic and that will be very fast okay and uh, if your country is not listed in this list so please select the nearest country okay in my case i am selecting this and clicking next okay once you click on the okay Soon you will see some activity will start here. And this will downloading some packages and putting somewhere at the particular location. Also, this will show you a message like this. Okay, this process is done. Now on this console, we will simply write a print statement and we will see is it working or not. Here we go. Just type print, double quote, the message you want to print. Great. 
it is working now going back to here in this notepad now guys we are at the step 5 in the step 5 we will see the downloading of R studio so R studio is the GUI based uh, IDE for uh, developing the R scripts working with the R projects which is very convenient tool for R programmers so we are going to download and install the R studio on Windows 10 in this step 5 if you see the description box you will find the download link for the R studio and on this notepad I'm going to copy this link and opening my browser new tab and just paste it on the address bar so you will see the official download page for the R studio on this page when you scroll down you will see lots of information also you will see the section here where everything is mentioned with the free open source license version of the R studio which we are going to download on the right hand side you can see the commercial license versions also available but if you are going to proceed for the commercial activity so you can buy the license as well also you will get more features in the licensed version but this is paid version in our tutorial we are not going to do that we are going to follow uh, we are going to download only the free version click on that button and you will be navigated to the new page and here you will see this big button so this will automatically detect and suggest you the best package best download or the installer for your windows okay we have this big button so simply click on it on the left hand side you will see the downloading is in progress great once the downloading is finished click on that exe okay and you will see the installer window here now we have this destination folder if you want to change you can simply use the browse button click next start menu folder you simply leave this thing as it is click install and the installation is in progress we will wait for the completion of this progress bar so I'm skipping this progress from my video I'm simply jumping to the final installed state okay so my R studio is installed and now I'm uh, searching here in the window search finally we got the icon click on it and uh, we are launching the R studio first time that's why this is taking time and once the, you will launch the R studio next time you will launch so this will not take much time and your uh, complete GUI will be loaded at once okay once you launch it first time this will ask you to enable the share the crash report click yes great now this is the home screen of the R studio on the left hand side you have the console you have the script writing editor you can call it on the right hand side you have different tabs this is these are the files so you can navigate through the folder locations on the plot tabs you will see the information on the help section we have the R resources okay related to R studio guidelines or the instructions and guides and help items are there so you can uh, go through that on the top you will see the four more tabs environment and the global environment is selected and we have the packages list as well so we can select any one of our choice this way you will get the informations here okay on the history tab you will see all the scripts or the commands that you have executed or the history data will be appeared here this is the connections tab and the last tab is tutorial tab if you want to take the help you want to learn more about the packages and the other uh, our uh, studio tutorials so you can simply click on these provided links so you will be navigated and the new uh, chrome window will appear so that will show you and uh, that have some guidelines you just simply follow that and you can learn more 
and now on the console I am simply trying to print some uh, small string with the help of this print method okay here we go uh, working properly on the top menu you can see you have the file we have a lot of options if you want to clear the console so you simply go to the edit and select the last option clear console this way you can clear the console okay if you want to open the file any file so you have a file menu and a lot of menu items a lot of options for full-fledged working R studio other tools options also there and if you want to create new file so you have this green plus button click on it and you will see the list and we have uh, different options to create different kinds of file like C++ file, Python script file, SQL script, stand, D3, RHTML and also create the new R file. This is very convenient place for the R developer. And now this is all yours. So this is all about the downloading and the installation of R and R Studio on Windows 10. I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. And for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.